Katerina Montanos, and I'm the founder of Costarina. Costarina is a wellness brand centered around high antioxidant extra virgin olive oil from Greece. Our olive oil is harvested very early, and what that does is preserve these natural polyphenols, or antioxidants, that occur in the olive. The reason I started the company was because, just like most Greek Americans, we import our extra virgin olive oil from our family farms back in southern Greece. My family happens to be from Koroni, home of the very popular Koroneiki olive. And when I went to the supermarket in New York City to buy extra virgin olive oil, the Greek extra virgin olive oil that I found honestly tasted absolutely nothing like what my family produced in southern Greece. So I really set out to build the brand of extra virgin olive oil that stands for premium quality. And what the consumer gets when they buy Costarina is a much more tasty, flavorful extra virgin olive oil that has incredible health benefits. Um, I first started Costarina by going to Greece and meeting all the producers in southern Greece that made this type of quality olive oil that I was looking for. Organic Koroneiki olives with very high polyphenol content. I started the company as a passion project while I was still in a full-time role, which I actually recommend to many young entrepreneurs. It just kind of takes the pressure off when you're in the product development phase. That can actually take a long time and being able to still receive your paycheck and your healthcare benefits helps a lot. And so after I identified the olive oil, I started to work on branding and what I wanted the Costa Arena brand to be and uh, developed the designs for our first bottle used Google and lots of personal connections to find bottle manufacturers, bottle decorators, and I put up a uh, Squarespace website, something similar to Shopify, um, that sold our one SKU, our very first SKU. Um, I sent an email to 300 of my closest family and friends, and I think that first year every single order that came in was from a name that I knew. Um, and that was really how, how it began. And I started to get really excited about, you know, leaving my full-time role and focusing on Costa Rica full-time when I began to think about it as a brand that could improve the products in a number of different categories. And if you visit CostaRina.com, you can see we have extra virgin olive oils, balsamic vinegars, we make dark chocolate bars with extra virgin olive oil, we make fresh olive oil cakes, and we also make skin care, very clean, natural skin care made with extra virgin olive oil as well. I don't think I think too much about my own personal brand. I think sort of just, you know, going through my career has become my personal brand with the choices that I've made throughout. But branding for a consumer products company is, of course, everything. It's the most important thing when you're building a consumer-facing brand. And so when I looked at the olive oil shelf, I felt that all the brands looked the same. And I really wanted to create something modern and Greek, but something completely different from what the US consumer was finding here. And so our bottle is white. It's very different from the dark green olive bottles uh, on the supermarket shelf. We don't lean into any of the traditional Greek cues or um, visual cues like Greek mythology or the Greek key. We really try to take a much more modern approach and think about the Greek islands and what people love so much about the Greek aesthetic and the Mediterranean Sea, and we bring that into our brand. Um, I think the most critical skill for someone to be successful is truly cultivating the habit of hard work. And I think um, most Greek Americans have immigrant parents or immigrant grandparents who really showed us how to do that. And I always tell you know, young entrepreneurs and young people to really just try to be the best in whatever you're doing. Because all the people around you, if you can impress them and show them that you're hardworking and you want to learn and you can deliver, those are the people that will help you later in your career to start your company or move to your next company. They'll recommend you for jobs. And even if they don't, you're going to learn something along the way each time. And the other thing that I'll say is I think it's really important to follow your passions. Um, there's the old adage of when work becomes play, you'll never work another day the rest of your life. Um, I feel lucky enough to have gotten there now. I really don't feel like I'm working and building the Costa Arena brand. And the more that you love what you're doing, the harder you'll work towards it. It just comes much more naturally. 
I think my Greek identity has been everything to me. Um, I was really lucky in that one of the most defining aspects of my childhood was that my mom actually worked for an airline that allowed us to travel very inexpensively to Greece several times a year. Um, so every February vacation, every Easter vacation, every summer I spent in my dad's hometown in southern Greece. And what I learned during those times was really what the simple life in true Greece looked like. Um, I learned the hospitality. I learned about sitting down to family dinner every single night. I learned about sitting down for coffee or tea with friends and really just taking the time to connect and catch up. And that has really come through the Costa Rica brand for me. Um, our brand pillars are health, family, and our Greek heritage. And so I think, you know, I couldn't be I'm more proud to be Greek, and I think so much of it has come through my career. Um, and in building Costa Rica today, I get to talk about food, beauty, and Greece all day long, and so there's really nothing better than that. I think um, my advice for someone young who's just starting out their career, or even someone who's mid-stage in their career, is really to try out a lot of different things that interest you. Um, I've always been very inspired by a speech that Steve Jobs gave at Stanford University um, with the theme of what he calls connecting the dots. And the story that Steve Jobs tells in this speech is about how when he was in college, he ended up taking a calligraphy course. And of course, that was so different from the computer science that he was studying, but that calligraphy course informed so much of how he thought about developing the fonts for the iPhone and all the Mac products and make you know the screens that we look at every single day as beautiful as they are. And it really just shows me that you know when you're young, just try to put down all different dots on your map for experiences that interest you because you never know how you're going to be able to connect those dots later. He may have thought that a calligraphy course was completely random and kind of unnecessary for his career and work development, but look how important it became later in life. And so I think experiencing different companies, different functions, different locations, um, exploring different interests will really help you sort of connect the dots later in life. And the more that you can, the more options that you have to connect, the more successful you'll be.